Hi, welcome to Paper Tiger. With this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Paper Tiger in a few simple steps. After you've created an account, the first step is to create a database. Before we do that, let me explain to you what a database is. A database is a group of related locations, categories, and items. For example, you can have a home database to manage your items at home, and an office database to manage your items at work, etc. Let's get started. Click on the Create New Database button and enter a name for your database. Let's call this one Office Files. Make sure that the name is something descriptive and easy to remember so that you can easily tell what the database relates to. Once it's created, just go ahead and click on the link to enter the database. The next step is to add a location. A location relates to where you will store your physical items such as papers, books, DVDs, storage boxes, etc. Paper Tiger uses locations to represent places where you store the items that you want to be able to find later. So let's go ahead and add a location. I'm going to go ahead and click the new button. And from here we'll be prompted with the add a new location screen. So let's enter a location. name. Make sure you enter something descriptive so that you can quickly identify where the location is and what it contains. In this case, I'm going to name my location Bottom Drawer. In this box, just go ahead and enter a quick description of what the location is about. Okay. The capacity field describes how many items this location will hold. For example, I'm going to put in 30 hanging file folders in my bottom desk drawer, so I'm going to go ahead and enter 30 items here because that means that's how much room I've got to put stuff in this location. Let's not worry about review frequency for now, and let's just go ahead and click add this location. Let's take a look inside this new location. You'll see that Paper Tiger has created 30 open items to store things in. Now we need to add 30 containers, in this case hanging file folders, to my bottom drawer to match what I just created in Paper Tiger. I'm going to show you a great feature that really helps speed up that process. If you click the print tab slash labels tab, you'll be able to generate a set of hanging file folder tabs automatically to match your location's capacity. You can even select from a list of Avery templates to print directly onto perforated sheets or adhesive labels. For now, I'm going to select the self-cut tabs. This option creates hanging new file folder tabs that can be printed out and cut out by hand. All that's left to do is select which location you want to print tabs for, in this case, bottom drawer, and select the range of tabs that you want to print. In this case, since I'm creating a new location, I'm going to go ahead and print all of them. After you've selected that, go ahead and hit the Generate Tabs PDF button. Depending on your web browser, you'll be prompted to either download a PDF file or it'll actually open within the browser itself. In this case, you'll see that Paper Tiger has generated 30 different tabs that will be installed in our 30 hanging file folders so that we can relate every open item in Paper Tiger to every open item in our actual location. All you have left to do is to install the 30 tabs into your hanging file folders and we'll be ready to file something. The note, you'll only need to do this process every time you want to set up a location. Once the location is set up, you can jump right into the filing part since everything will already be set up in advance. Something, you first have to decide where you want the file to go in. In this case, we only have one location, so it'll go into my bottom drawer location. File an item two ways. One way is using the hover option where you can actually place the file directly into an item that you want. For example, this one would go in item number six. The other way you can file an item is to actually just use the new button. In this case, Paper Tiger will automatically decide where the file is gonna go. Paper Tiger finds the first open item available and that's where it'll file your item. This keeps your file cabinet nice and neat. Let's go ahead and file this document. It's a car repair build that we need to recall at a later date. Since I'm expecting to have multiple car repair bills, I'm going to call this item Car Repair Bills. This way, when I get more car repair bills, I can just file them into the same item quickly. Paper Tiger works best when you keep like things together in an item, instead of having separate items for each car bill that I have. 
now I need to come up with some keywords about this item. I'll go ahead and enter a few. When you need to find the item later, these will come in handy to help you remember what this item is about. The more keywords you enter, the easier it will be to find the item later. Now we can select the category for this item. This is optional. Categories are a great way to group items without having them filed in the same physical location. Let's add a new category called Transportation. You can set an action date on this item to remember to take action on it at a later date. For example, we can set the action date here to December 2010. What this will do is this will give us a reminder on that date that we need to take action on this item. Now that we have all the fields filled out, we're ready to file it. So let's just go ahead and click add this file. Great. Now you can see the paper tiger has put the item we just filed in open item number one and added all our information there. Before you open your drawer to put the document where it belongs, I'll show you a great time saving tip. You can label this document where it belongs by writing the location name and item number on the corner of the page. This means that you'll never have to refile an item that's been labeled because you already know exactly where it goes. Think of how much easier this is. Paper Tiger lets you do all your filing before you actually get up and put the items where they belong. If you have an assistant, you can make the decisions on where things go beforehand and then let your assistant do the actual physical work afterwards. Now that we've filed an item, let's go ahead and find it. Think of a word related to the item we just filed and type it in the search box. This is just like searching in Google. You can see the search term you entered and it will be highlighted if Paper Tiger finds a match. Paper Tiger shows you exactly in which location and item number the physical document is. There's no guesswork involved to open up your drawer and look in item number one for your file. This is only the very basic functionality in Paper Tiger, but it should help you get started filing. Remember, start with the files you use the most first and start slow. Before you know it, all your information will be in Paper Tiger and you'll see a drastic change in the way you find information. Thanks for watching.